everybody. Welcome to Monday's Moment. In my hand is something that if you go to our church, you see on Sunday mornings and Sunday nights. That's about the only time sometimes on revivals. But you see this here? Offering plate. Now my question to you is, you out there looking at this offering plate, what was the very first thought that came to your mind? Now I would almost say that the majority of you, if you, especially where you were in the church or in a place and they said they're going to pass the plate, that the first thought come to your mind probably, because I know it was mine for a long time, was, oh no, here they come again. What I got to give, here they come again. That is not the way that a Christian should be thinking. As a child of God, you should be thinking, oh boy, here is my opportunity to give and to be a help, to give and to be a blessing, to give and to help somebody else. I have been blessed so I can be a blessing. You know, for a long time they say out there, I'm taking up an offering, bless those that have to give and those that do not have to give. You know, I've been scratching my head on that, especially us folks here in America. You know, we've got something to give. Oh, we may not always have a whole stack of green 20s, but we've got something that we can give. And I will give you a secret about give, especially when it comes to God's economy. Give, and it shall, you shall be given unto. And since I've learned that secret, and my life has never been the same. Oh, I'm not going to guarantee you're going to become Jack Clampett overnight and just go out here and find some oil someplace. But I will tell you this, if you God loveth a cheerful giver. Oh, I wish I had more time. Well, remember, friends, this is the first day of the rest of your life. Go live it for the Lord.